Another threat to an already fragile housing market. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, buckle up, strap in. I got a hard hitting pull, no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Buckle up, strap in, hold on to your hats and your glasses as we blow the lid off the U.S. economy and the U.S. housing market. Why, you ask? Well, of course I'm going to tell you. They're tied together. Lose one, you lose them both. And they're both under attack as we speak. If you're new, please subscribe. Subscribe right away. Never been a more important time in history. You get centered and surrounded with like-minded people. Iron will sharpen iron. We're going to sharpen some iron today. We got a great email from one of the our subscribers, probably one of our biggest fans here, Jeff. Jeff, thank you. Um, we helped Jeff get out at the top of the real estate bubble. A lot of you we were able to get out at the top of the real estate bubble. And we're continuing to do that. And even the ones that we're helping buy in this mess, we're examining the right ways to do that, not walking in blind to a FOMO factory going above and beyond appraised values or whatever the case. We check properties, see if they pencil out today's interest rate, today's price, cost to carry, things like that. We're doing our best here for you guys, doing our best. But the realities are this. We've always said this at the show, at least I have, and you've been nice enough to support the channel. And thank you. Like I said, if you're new, please subscribe. Subscribe right away. And thank you to all my, I'm, all my supporters and subscribers. But one of the things that we, that if you remember early on, we started to say, throw the playbook out the window, the data won't save. You see, that's really constant, what we talk about, like in the in the industry or in media, a black swan event. You know, we, there's a lot of things that data just won't tell you. A lot of things will, data won't tell you. So like for me, I'll take experience, book smarts, over, street smarts over book smarts. Experience will always outweigh, I don't care how much, I've, I've met some really dumb, smart people. Oh, Harvard education, they're over there at Starbucks working right now. Determination will get you very far in life. And you're going to have to have a little street smarts and book smarts. Balance is what we want. But one of the things you have to understand, in my humble opinion, is you see any time, it's really basic on, on a couple levels. For one, we overheated the biggest asset class in the world, U.S. housing market. That's dangerous. That is dangerous. It can deliver the knockout blow to the economy. And this we're not talking just the U.S. economy, the global economy. That's how big the housing market is. That's what it did in 2008. We had global financial market ripple effects from the 08 recession that was all triggered by subprime the subprime mortgage crisis, the housing market. Well, we're in those waters again. People want to minimize it. Of course, they minimized it in the last downturn. I even drank the Kool-Aid in the last downturn. I caught a falling knife in the last turn. I thought I was smart. I'm a smart guy. I watched a property come down in value 25%. I'm like, I've got a deal. Had another 25%. I caught a falling knife. I didn't check its rent range. I didn't own the house. It owned me. It was no fun. My job now is to protect each and every one of you every step of the way. And the waters we're swimming in now. So one of the things that Jeff, we helped him get out of in the bubble, one of the many, and he, he continues to be forever grateful uh, because not only did we get him out at the top of the bubble, <laughs> he, he, he's like, no, I am so happy. I'm trying not to let it slip because I almost want to just take you guys for a little field trip so I can show you which area we got Jeff out of at the top. In fact, let's go ahead and jump over to this email and we'll take a look at some local real estate. Then we're going to meet back here to wrap this one up. Let's get started. Scott, thanks for all you do. If appropriate, could you address what people do in frontier markets like El Paso, Brownsville, Laredo, or Del Rio? Selling in these markets is a challenge. On any given night, there are hundreds of immigrants sleeping on the streets of El Paso. One of my neighbor's prospective agents suggested completely renovating the pool to the tune of about $25,000 before putting it on the market. <laughs> the pool is functional, the pump works, the filter works fine. I kind of think it's like putting lipstick on a pig. Any property in El Paso is a pig right now. All right, friends, buckle up, strap in, roll up your windows, lock your doors, maybe even put on that face mask if you still have one. We're in El Paso, Texas, and Texas is having a big black swan event with their borders. Let's take a look at some local real estate. Now let's bring up today's crash map, courtesy of our good friends over at Zillow. Everything on your screen right now going through the kiss of death, price reductions. 
All right, now let's go ahead and make our way onto the property and take a little look around. Uh-oh, buckle up and strap in. If you still have your mask on, you might want to leave it on. We're tenant occupied and somebody wants to get this property sold. Unfortunately, they're stuck on the market showing the kiss of death. Let's get in to the numbers. And the first thing we see stuck on the market, 120 days without a sale and only 44 saves garnishing very little interest. Let's look a little further. Now let's go ahead and look at their local market conditions. As we can see from the graph below, it's been quite the roller coaster ride for El Paso, Texas, and they're starting another downward trend. Let's keep looking. All right, the tail and the tape, our price history, we're currently stuck on the market at $90,000, which is in fact the upper end of its value range. Strike one, strike two, we started at $110,000. We're pending and then fell out of escrow. Let's look a little further. If we were silly enough to give them their $90,000 upper value range for the property, which we wouldn't, our estimated cost to carry would be approximately $600 a month. Now, the tail and the tape, the nitty gritty, what would it rent for? Uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. Our property would rent for almost $1,400 a month. Our cost to carry, $600 a month. Yet nobody wants to touch this property. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back, and thank you for Jeff for your email. I hope you enjoyed uh, our little coverage today of El Paso, Texas. And listen, friends, throw a dart at Texas. You're hitting an area. This is going to migrate around. This is what we call, well, this is when we say throw the playbook out the window. The data will not save you. These weren't things that data told us was going to happen. This is a black swan event. This is America. This is the economy under attack. And what's it doing? It's affecting the local real estate market, isn't it? So your area, don't think you're out of the woods. Even where I'm sitting in here today in the Wild West, an episode of Million Dollar Listing, the Twilight Zone, defying gravity, we could get it too. In fact, in the last downturn, this area, it joined the party. You might, be insul you might be insulated from a recession, but you're not recession-proof. You will be touched. Some areas are just going to get hit last. Some will climb out first. Everybody gets touched in a deep cycle recession. So now we get to ask ourselves the question. Correction, recession, depression. Those are the three levels of an economic downturn. We're in the correction phase, the front end, just getting started. And I just showed you today, properties penciling out. Nobody will touch them with the 10-foot pole. That's a black swan event. Investors are paralyzed, collapsing all over themselves, so they're done. People with enough money, they're afraid to spend right now. And then you look at an area like we looked at today, even if you were in a position to buy, you're not touching that place with a 10-foot pole because you see what's going on around you in that area. And we have to tap dance the, around the elephant in the room here because we're on social media now. And so we can't really, you know, we got to scratch the surface. I've always said this is the real estate channel, but it's much bigger than real estate. We know this. We know there's big things going on. But for a lot of us, we like to heat map and temperature check the health and the fitness of the biggest asset class in the world where 90% of all millionaires made their money, the U.S housing market and it continues to be under attack in final thoughts i come to you as a friend as a content creator somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate win in life understand the biggest artificially created housing bubble ever produced in world history with zero organic growth can't sustain itself take your pick throw a dart at an economic challenge map something's threatening it as we speak today we took a look at an area that data won't reveal data will not reveal what that city and that state is experiencing right now. And what we see from them, they are leading the charge in this downturn. And your area could be next. So don't rule this one out. Be very aware of your surroundings right now. Very aware of your real estate. You know, the thing is, friends, always had booms and busts. And we just went through a pretty big boom cycle. A bust is looming. Certain areas are going to perform differently and it'll be my job to blow the lid off this thing every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there along with links to channels I've appeared on I think you might enjoy. 
If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, the biggest network of top-rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It'd be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I think you're going to love the next video. It's an screen. easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. I'll see you on the next video.